Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Zoe Home Inspired Living. If you're new here, I'm Rina. Today, I'm inspired to do some Japanese or traditional Japanese decorating. In fact, I've had this inspiration or plan a few years ago to decorate using the traditional themes, the cranes printed on fabrics like that. And so here in front of me, I have piles of Japanese fabric that I purchased, I think more than two years ago, because I don't know for a season, I fell in love with Japanese fabrics. They are not that cheap. Yes, actually they are quite expensive, but they are so special as far as I'm concerned, because uh, as I will uh, show you later, they have gold accents. They have gold accents in there. Oh my gosh, this one. I don't know what I was thinking. I bought this. Oh my gosh, this is, uh, I think, more or less 20 yards. I will show you. I'll show you the print later. And then I have more here. Look, and that's the Sakura Blossoms. As I was saying, more than two years ago, I hoarded these Japanese fabrics from an online seller because I just fell in love with the themes of these fabrics. And then I planned to, to sew them into table linens and also throw pillowcases but i never got around to doing it and now because i really want to be really inspired with beautiful things because i have been handling too much technical information in my mind my soul is craving for something uh beautiful so this this japanese fabrics i plan to make into um, table linens so I'm going to uh, um, sew tablecloths and also table runners placemats and they are quite thick very thick cotton and the best part the best thing about this Japanese fabrics is that it's not polyester it doesn't look cheap look at this look at this design mm. i think this is what they call imari this is the imari design with white flowers like that maybe i really fell in love with this peacocks peahens oh my gosh look look how beautiful that is and i love the colors the colors are pinks and greens and they are lined with gold. This is the fan pattern. So can you imagine the, the prints of the beautiful prints of the Japanese kimono? Oh, I can. So, but this is not silk. This is thick woven cotton. And it's just so beautiful because there's always there's always the gold accent and this one they call the shell and it's just simple but it's gold thread it's all gold and I plan to make this into a few throw pillow cases yes and maybe um placemats a set of placemats as well as table runners so can you see the gold the gold accent on the fabric and this one here features the crane japanese crane you know if you love um the paper folding origami for a very long time my son timothy start, uh, he started when he was still little until maybe middle school 
he loved folding papers origami so i would uh, buy him tons of origami papers and he was good at it but now he has moved on to other pursuits and so these are cranes on a purple background very rich colors as you can see so there's i think this is dahlia and these are gold accented cranes this is the actually the second batch of this print of cherry blossom fabric cherry blossoms print because the first batch it was sold out i turned them into tablecloths and everything was sold out that was more than two years ago and then i have this new batch i love this design of cherry blossoms because the colors are just subtle and this is another pattern of the cherry blossoms on red background yeah so maybe placemats as well and then lastly oh i am covered with japanese fabrics now and the last one is um the print also features the crane white cranes and these are chrysanthemums the chrysanthemum flowers and the crane so you can see here the chrysanthemums are in gold and also the crane with gold accents so um i think i'm going to sew through pillowcases out of this so i'm just going to sew a few maybe um throw pillowcases two th throw pillowcases a few tablecloths and table napkins as well just to show you how they will turn out and so let's start sewing so far these are the fabrics that i have cut we are going to sew back to back placemats and also i'm going to cut some more for the throw pillow cases like that and these are 19 by 15 yeah, 19 by 15 to make 18 by 14 size placemats. So the first thing, right sides together. And then I am going to sew from here all around up to here. I'm going to leave a space here so that I can bring it back to the right side later on. And then sew that up all around as well. Um, like an overstitch to make it flat. So let's do that. So now we are going to cut the corners so that the the placemat will lay flat. I'm going to use this to poke the corners so that they will be really pointy. Is that what you call it? All right, now we are going to sew it here like that to close this up. 
and then we will go all around to make this placemat flat. I think they call it the overstitch. So let's do that. So this is where we began and we are going to end here also. So this is our finished placemat. And we are going to make a set of six. So, yeah, I like it. It lays flat like that. Look, and then it is reversible back to back. So let's continue with the rest. Before we do some decorating, we're going to bake a very simple blueberry muffin recipe using a blueberry muffin pie filling because I don't have fresh or even frozen ones. But I'm sure this will work. I would like to feature Japanese Arita Little Cupcake trays, so we're baking. While I'm doing this, my mind is full of Catherine, Princess of Wales, and her cancer diagnosis, and my heart is heavy. I like her a lot, and I pray that she gets well very soon. We are also using a new camera in the latter part of this video and we committed a lot of mistakes. Please excuse them. In the next segment, I voiced over my presentations of my Japanese decor because all my videos didn't have sound. Please excuse that as well. So in this video clip, I was showing and talking about these Japanese saucers which I got recently and also this Imari designed ramen bowls or rice bowls and so um, these pairings we are going to style them later on on the dining table and then I also have this tiny cupcake trays that are Arita. Arita is a Japanese brand that is quite popular, especially for their vases. So these are very cute ones for individual cupcakes or muffins. That's why I baked those blue blueberry muffins to feature them on this very lovely yellow trays or stands. 
For those of you who have been following me for quite some time, you know that I have quite a collection of teacups, but I still bought this uh, um, cherry blossom teacup and saucer to feature in this video. I just love it. Look at the pattern of the cherry blossoms on this teacup and saucer. And I also have this one. It's one of my favorite flowers. It's the tiger lily, I think. This is in yellow. So I just love the design of this teacup and saucer as well with gold. Yeah, and they are all Japanese made. I'm going to show you this Arita vase. It's still in its original box. And Arita is one of the popular Japanese brands for vases and other dishes. So this one here is decorated with a couple of cranes. And the cranes have gold accents in them. As you can see, it's just so exquisite. And there's the mark there for the Arita vase. So we are going to use this for styling later on. I also got these beautiful Japanese plates. And even though I have a lot in my display cabinet, I, ha I just had to have them for this video for our styling later on look at this plate and that very lovely i think that's a geisha <laughs> japanese geisha in all her splendor bedecked with the beautiful kimono and this japanese plate that depicts Life in a village, I think. Those are Japanese folks in a countryside. And look at the border. Um, this is textured plate with those beautiful elements there on the plate. So it is also a marked deco plate. And this is one of two throw pillow cases that I made in the shell pattern and this is the other one
thank you so much for watching and i do hope that you enjoyed today's video featuring traditional japanese themes and even though there's a lot of mistakes there's no sound and all i hope that you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one please like share and subscribe if you haven't already thank you god bless bye